Hey all, back again for another hands-on uh, exercise. This one's going to be integrating a call flow with queues and user extensions. So this one is um, kind of almost a repeat of what we have done, have we, we've built on, but except it's just here to show you how fast you can extend a, a menu to another menu option. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're already logged in. We've already got our first call flow up. It's already in edit mode. We are going to the main menu here we're going to add an option. So it's easy as this. You're able to, let's go ahead and sidestep that. We're gonna do a task. We're gonna add a task to the main menu there. Highlight that task. And like we have done before, we're gonna name this task billing. We're gonna give it an option of option three. And essentially the, the beautiful thing about this is you could have copied this and, um, and pasted it there. I want you to kind of go through and build it again with the expectation of none of this. Uh, don't do any of the data actions, just transfer to billing. Um, that's it. Obviously, we've already done the schedule check, so we know that the billing department's open. So we are literally just going to transfer to queue in this one. They don't want to check to see if they're, you know, they don't want to check to see if their uh, users are on queue. They don't want to, you know, anything else. They want to transfer right to the queue so that, that um, they can get the call in. So I've already created a billing queue. So keep in mind, you will have to create that. Um, so if you need to pause this video, go create that real quick. Um, if you're not really worried about it, you can also just send it to uh, the test queue that uh, that we created in a, in a module that was not too long ago, one of the hands-on. Um, so feel free to pause it and do that now. Um, or just, yeah. Do it to whichever one you want, just to make sure you have an understanding of this. So we're just literally going to transfer to the billing queue. Now, the one thing that that really isn't showing up in the hands-on exercises is that other piece that we had, right? The transferring to the the error handling. So I'm going to actually go ahead and create another one. Uh, go ahead and create uh, another task. Or this is I'm actually going to copy this task. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my clipboard, and then copy this task and then put that task there and rename it to get rid of that one and do billing. So what we'll do in another one um, is the plan is we want to get, we want to build these reusable tasks up and just a sneak peek for future ones. We're going to actually then consolidate all of these. So that will have, we have three error handling here is right. We're going to consolidate all of these into uh, into one and do a, a dynamic search for if it's this queue or this queue. So we'll be using a switch. Um, but for now, we're going to try to build this out so we can build out and have some data in this queue uh, or in this call flow before we before we do that. So went ahead and need to go back to billing. We need to uh, jump to reusable task. And that task, obviously, is going to be the billing error there. Uh, and so that's already handled. Now we have to go to billing. Uh, we have to make sure. So there is those. There is this here. We do need to get rid of this because that we're not going to be using that piece of it. So you can you can grab the play audio, the default audio that sorry an error has occurred, and then delete the other portion of it. And then there you are. Uh, we just have to. One last thing is transfer to billing. Now the billing department wants the other in queue. They don't want to. Um, they don't want to go to the normal one. So sales and support, they're part of just music on hold forever. This one wants it to route and play a prompt and play that, uh, play that music on hold, the, the on cue that we, we created before. So we're going to go back to uh, option three here for billing. It says option four in your thing. Um, I'll change it to option four because I think we are going to be using option three for something else. But then there's transfer to billing and remember that override default in queue handling go ahead and click on that now you should see your in queue test so now when that gets transferred to billing it's going to have that uh, that prompt that plays the music one minute of music on hold and then route back to that prompt every minute um, for 99 minutes uh, unless it's answered obviously so we already have built that out that's ready to go so we're going to do another one. Uh, we're going to add another uh, option to this. And I'm just going to drag another task over. And we're going to make that option five. And this one is to a user extension. So if you remember in a previous hands-on, we created a new user and we added an extension to them. 
um, that is for this module here. That is for this hands-on exercise here. So for this task, it's gonna be transferring to user. It looks like to speak with John Doe. So we're gonna go transfer to John Doe. Always wanna make sure we name that. And so essentially what's happening here, they've already, we've already checked to see um, if, uh, if everybody, you know, if it's open, we might do something a little in another hands-on exercise to check to see if the user is available. Uh, if they're logged off, then we, we route to a voicemail or whatnot. But in this one, this is just a simple enough use one. We're actually just going to literally transfer to that user, just like so. We're going to look for that user. There's the one I created for myself for the Nolan test. And then there's that pre-transfer audio that I always like to get rid of. And there you go. So now if it fails to transfer to that user, you can have another action. So, you know, obviously we always have to have, I used to put a call disconnect, but in this, in this case, we actually could then go to an after hours menu. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to transfer to the, the after hours menu because let's say it doesn't transfer, something fails, it's gonna to go to the after hours menu and say, hey, we're, you know, we're closed. Um, if you'd like to leave a voicemail for sales, press one, for support, press two. Uh, we can also, if we want to go ahead and add billing in here, uh, we do have to remember one thing that prompt does need to be changed. So uh, for billing, press four, if you, would like to speak with John Doe, press five. So there we go. But in this case, for that specific piece, I'm really just gonna let it be after hours menu um, and let it be. Uh, so at the end of this, obviously the takeaway from this is two things, uh, just how quick you're able to access and add to a menu. Uh, by adding tasks uh, and replicating those by copying other tasks or copy, copying things within those tasks and bringing them over. And then how easy it is, as long as users have their extensions, how easy it is to transfer to a user. Um, that integration really just helps you create the call flows more efficiently, route the callers more efficiently, get them to the appropriate destination without having to have them get to talk to somebody and then get transferred Really what this does, it enhances their customer experience. If they're able to select an option to get right to someone or just get it right to where they need to go without having to be transferred over and over and over again, it helps their customer experience. It gives them a very good um, outlook about your business uh, and just improves the context and our performance overall. Um, thanks for uh, getting, getting with me on this hands-on exercise and see you in the next one.